In this video, we're going to talk a little bit about testing uh, and the, um, the model view controller uh, templates within Visual Studio provide nice testing uh, platforms to uh, try things out with. Um, <clears throat> what you see here is you see me creating a new project. Uh, it's a web application and I've chosen an MVC web application um, template here. And um, I'm going to go ahead and click on OK. And what you will see coming up next is um, a dialog box that says, would you like to create a unit test project? Um, in the past examples, I've said no. Uh, but in this example, I said yes. And um, in the background, you can see right down there is my uh, uh, test uh, project for unit testing. So um, I'm going to go ahead and cancel this thing out and look and see what we have uh, already created for us. Um, so what I have is I have a simple product controller. Um, the product controller contains, um, oops, that's the product controller. The product controller contains two action methods. One is an index action method and the other is a details action method. There is an index um, view. Let me get to that in a moment. Um, when the index is called, which is called by default, I define a um, view data dictionary element uh, with the name test case and a value this text is stored in view data test case and all the index does is it goes to the view data that is past it gets the uh, the entry from the dictionary named test case and displays it so let, let's run the application and um, verify that that's working okay okay so here I am and uh, I'm just going to uh, call in product here and uh, that will bring in the, uh, the index uh, uh, method or the action of the product controller. And here you can see it's displaying. Uh, uh, this text is stored in view data test case, which is exactly what I passed into it. So this is no big deal here. Um, and then I have, um, in addition to the, um, the index uh, action, I also have the details action. What I'm doing in details action is I'm creating a new product and this is a very simple product. It's not from a database. Um, it's a product that has um, an, an ID um, and it has a name. So just a simple little two uh, property uh, fake product here. And what I'm doing inside here is I'm um, creating um, P as a new product and I'm setting its ID and its name to two and test respectively. And then I'm passing that product to my details view. So let's run that and, um, and see how that looks. Okay, so let me go ahead and bring up the uh, detail here. And we're going to go to uh, the detail controller, excuse me, the product controller in the detail action, passing the number two. And uh, the result is this. Uh, it shows a product with an ID of two and a name of test. So that's my simple application. Um, I want to make a couple of observations here before I leave this. One is that when you uh, are working with this test, uh, this unit test system, you have to explicitly pass the name of the view. You can't let it default. Um, and by default, it would use the name of the actual action method for the controller. I have to be explicit. So that's what I've done in that case, and I've done that in this case. I've explicitly said, call the details view. Um, um, the other thing that I need to point out is that this ID field here, um, which normally you would use to look up um, a particular product in a collection of products, uh, is essentially not used. Um, I have to provide it because of the syntax of the language, uh, but it's not used at all. And I'm just making up a product with an ID of two and a test, uh, the word test for the name. So just remember that um, uh, when we start to talk about the test. So here is my, uh, my test project that was created uh, automatically when I selected that option when I was creating a new project. And um, I added a product controller down here. I did that by right clicking and selecting add. And I added a new test up here. I selected the unit test and uh, gave it a name like product controller .vb, then clicked on OK. Uh, it created a couple of things for me. It created um, 
these two, uh, is basically the harness that gets things going. I don't really need to worry about those myself, uh, so I went ahead and, and uh, collapsed those things. Um, but um, I added a test method here, and this test method that I added um, is called index test one. And what I'm doing inside here is I'm instantiating a new product controller. So that is actually a product controller, you know, one of these little dudes right here. Um, and then I am uh, going ahead and calling the controller uh, index method. That's what's happening there. And that returns a view result, um, which is stored in result. I am then going to ask the question, is the name of the view that I get from the result the same as what I expected it to be index? Okay. Now to run this test, I just click anywhere inside this, uh, this public sub, and I come up here and you have two test run options, run tests in current context, or uh, run all the tests in the solution. It's actually added some tests already. I just want to run this current test. And uh, I'm doing an assert here, so this is going to return either a true or a false, whether or not this test was successful or not. So again, make sure I'm uh, active in the context here. Click on this, run. Um, there's the index text one, and it, uh, it passed, which basically means that the, um, the result view name was the same as what I expected it to be. Now here's another test method, which I called indexed test2. And again, I'm instantiating a product controller. I'm running the index method. But now I'm looking to see if the view data recorded under the dictionary name uh, test case is equal to what I expected it to be. That is, this text is stored in view data test case. In other words, if I go back to my product controller, I'm trying to make sure that uh, the view data that is returning uh, is this stuff that I expected it to be. So to run this test, I, uh, I make this uh, uh, the active context. I come up here and run the test uh, under context. This is indexed index test number two. It passed. In other words, the assert here showed that we had equality between um, the view data dictionary element called test case and this particular hard-coded string. Now, the third test that I put on here uh, is a test that uh, uh, tests the details. And what I'm doing here um, is I go ahead and create another controller, product controller, and then I go ahead and, and call the details action, uh, and I'm passing it the number two. Now remember, uh, I made a point of making, made that point earlier, the, this, this, this ID, this integer, is not used. What I will expect to have happen is that when this details method is called, it will in fact instantiate this particular product with an ID of two and a name of test. So what I'm doing here is I'm going ahead and, and calling the controller, which is creating the, the hard-coded product. Um, then I am going to the model property of view data and I'm uh, seeing um, or, or storing uh, as a result of that the product P. Now remember that should in fact be um, a product because that's what I'm sending over there. This is the, what defines the model and P is a product. And then what I'm doing is I'm asking is the name uh, property of the product equal to the word test. In other words, uh, is it this thing that I expected it to be? So let's go ahead and make sure we have this selected in the context. Let's run the test. Um, it, uh, it passed. So um, you can start to see how we can use this unit testing harness. Now the, the thing that, um, that you can't do is you can't run these unit tests on a live database. Um, you have to use um, some form of, um, of what ref is referred to as mocking, faking the, um, the database as an in-memory structure. Um, I'll give you a little bit more information on mocking at the end of the tutorials. Um, you know, that, that could be a whole set of tutorials in and of itself, so it's sort of beyond the context um, of this um, introductory tutorial set. But I'll give you some pointers on how you might want to um, pursue that if you find that interesting.